The next thing that we want to talk about are natural killer cells, or NK cells. These are different than NKT cells, which are another cell type altogether, and a topic which is not high yield for the step one. You should be familiar, however, with natural killer cells. Although they develop from a precursor cell, which ultimately gives rise to B and T cells, functionally these cells belong to the innate immune system rather than the adaptive immune system. Remember that the defining characteristics of the adaptive immune system is that its cells produce receptors which have undergone VDJ recombination. Those receptors are highly specific for a particular antigen, and after the cells have been activated, they persist in small numbers known as memory B and memory T cells. And eight cells, on the other hand, have these characteristics. The receptors that they use to recognize pathogens do not change. They are fixed in the genome and do not undergo VDJ recombination. Secondly, these receptors recognize microbial components that are common to many pathogens. For example, innate cells have a receptor for lipopolysaccharide, or LPS, which is found on many, many gram-negative bacteria. And finally, innate immune cells do not form memory cells because they typically have a short half-life. That is, they are usually destined to die after they have recognized and responded to pathogens. Thus, while NK cells are developmentally related to B and T cells, they show features which are more common and characteristic of innate immune cells. So they are grouped in that category. When NK cells recognized host cells, the job of NK cells is basically this. They kill host cells which have some badness going on in them. For example, cells which have been infected with virus, or cells that have become neoplastic. So now the question is, how do NK cells know which cells are infected with viruses, which cells might be neoplastic, and which cells are just normal? This is not totally worked out, but the idea goes like this. Say we have some typical epithelial cells. NK cells recognize two signals on an epithelial cell. One is an activating molecule, something that would basically tell the NK cell, kill me. If this were the only signal on the cell, the NK cell would indeed kill the epithelial cell. And it would do this with enzymes known as perforin and granzymes, which activate the apoptotic pathway in this particular epithelial cell. However, normal cells will also express class 1 MHC molecules, which I'll draw here. Again, remember that class 1 MHC molecules are expressed by all nucleated cells. This class 1 molecule is actually presenting a normal self-peptide. Now, if an NK cell comes along, and recognizes the kill me signal, it will of course kill the cell. But because it's also recognizing the normal class 1 molecule with a self-peptide, it receives an inhibitory signal, which prevents the kill me response. The NK cell then detaches and floats away and nothing happens. Now in the case of a virus infection, which I'm just going to draw here as a bunch of triangles, these class 1 molecules will no longer be presenting self-peptide. Instead, they'll be presenting peptides from the virus, which I've drawn as an arrow. This type of interaction does not inhibit the kill me signal and even stimulates the NK cell to do its thing. Thus, the loss of the inhibitory signal and the activation of the NK cell by class 1 molecules which are presenting viral peptides results in the death of this virally infected cell. A similar thing happens in cells that are becoming neoplastic. Neoplastic cells begin expressing proteins which are not normally found on healthy cells, which I've sort of drawn here as a bunch of spirals. These new proteins may be presented to NK cells, which in turn activates it. In addition, the normal class 1 molecule, which is bound to self-peptide, is also no longer being expressed in the surface and therefore cannot provide that inhibitory signal. Again, the result is the destruction of the neoplastic cell. This inhibitory signal can be lost when a cell is infected with a virus, 
and many viruses have actually evolved ways to remove class I molecules from the surface of the cells that they infect. This decreases the likelihood that they'll be presented to cells of the adaptive immune system. However, the NK cell is no longer receiving its inhibitory signal. So now the NK cell only sees the kill me signal and can induce the death of the epithelial cell and prevent the transmission of virus. Neoplastic cells do a similar thing. When a cell becomes neoplastic, it might decrease the expression of class I molecules, which might allow it to go unrecognized by B and T cells. However, if an NK cell comes along and recognizes the kill me signal, it can induce the death of the neoplastic cell. All right, let's move on to a discussion of B and T cells.